Hey, this is the Daily Overpass. My name is Eric and I make apps. Now today, let's talk about backlinks and Google Play. All right, so today I wanna to answer a question that came in on episode 552 from Felix Manyanda, who says, Hi, Eric, next video, talk in detail about backlinks, how much percentage contribute to download, where to get backlinks in Google Play from your experience. Okay, Felix is a really good question. We don't talk nearly enough about backlinks and it's something that especially early on I thought a lot about and it's something I think about a lot. Whenever I put a link to my app someplace, I usually don't even bother. I don't do the landing page or I don't do my website even though they might be iOS users. I usually try to put a link to the Google Play page because I'm more concerned with the links that go into the Google Play page than anywhere else. Right. We know that Google is a search company. We know that they have a lots of different contributing factors to find out how important a page is. And when it comes to search on the web, the backlinks are really important. And they've even said so much that backlinks are important for Google Play also. But in terms of what kind of percentage it contributes to it, I don't know. I'm not sure if anybody really knows. Now, and I want to say this just straight off the bat, I am not an SEO guy. I'm, I don't, I couldn't tell you the difference between a good backlink or a bad backlink, but I kind of think of them the way I think about push-ups, right? More is probably better, but not too much or whatever, you know, I just, backlinks are good, so I'm always thinking about backlinks when we do stuff. So have a look at my screen. Let's talk, let's take a little bit of, uh, a little look at backlinks here because when we look at different types of apps and we look at our competition and even though maybe our keywords are more prominent, mine's in the title, but that one's outranking me for some reason. It could be because they have more, they have better reviews, they have a better description, they have better um, uh, backlinks coming in. They, you know, they're just, there's lots of different contributing factors, that, but this is a part of it. This is a component. So have a look at my screen here. I go get my big, my big app. I, I keep going to this one because it's the one that's the most successful and it's a good example. We'll look at a, another one here too, but let's just go ahead and take a look at this. Now, I, I look at lots of different SEO backlink um, websites and there seems to be a lot of them out there. It used to be that you in Google, you just type in link colon and see what was linking to your site, but that's not there anymore. However, I'm using this one on Hrefs. I don't, I don't have an account with them, but they do have the, the free tool over here. So if you go up to tools and you go down to um, backlink checker, you could type in your Google Play link and find out how many different sites are linking to it. And you might be surprised at how many there are because you might think, I don't really post it in that many places, but, but you do. So let me put in the Google Play link here. Check backlinks, do the um, CAPTCHA, right? So you can see here that I've got you know, 1,274 backlinks going through here from 511 domains. Uh, you know, like I said, I don't a good backlink and a bad backlink. There are SEO consultants out there who will talk to you until you fall asleep about these kind of things. I just kind of think the more is better so that we do. If we do social media, we put stuff on Twitter. If we have to choose between the iOS back, the iOS link or the Google Play link or our website link, it would make sense to do our website link because we don't know what kind of phone they're on, but it's more important for me to get the Google Play link in. So here you can see, you know, we've got lots of different websites here, top best free websites. And it, the more it gets mentioned, the more we start to see it. Some of them are my own website uh, and we have it throughout there. Um, we've got it on uh, different stuff. Some of these are my sites, some of them are other ones. Here's the landing page itself. So you can see that it does have that. And we look at different ones. Now, if I go through here and I do one of my apps that don't do that well, but it's been out there for a long time, let's see, uh, com.overpass.mandarin bubble bath, which does okay, but it doesn't do, like, it's nowhere near. You can see we, we don't have that. I mean, we have 19, we have 19 backlinks. So this is something that I, I haven't really done much with, right? We have it on our own websites. And, and early on, we were got, trying to go out to different um, blogs and stuff and try to just say, hey, could you mention our, our app? Can you do all this kind of stuff? But it never really turned out. And then we just kind of started doing more and more. But you can see there's a, a big thing there. So I, 
like I said, I wish I could tell you specifically, oh, that's 20%, but you, you've got other things too. You've got the amount of times it's mentioned in the reviews. We talked about how many reviews my big app has and the, and the keywords that are mentioned in the reviews. We talk about the title, we talk about the description, we talk about the number of downloads that you have, the retention rate, and you also have the number of backlinks in. Backlinks not just important for Google Play, of course, for Google. So if somebody's searching for it on Google, they're gonna find it. And it is something to think about. You know, how can you get your app onto more different, into more websites the more links coming in every time you put it on the social media are you linking to it are you doing that are you trying to get people to share it and if somebody does share your app you don't want them to share it to your website yourself you want to say hey go straight to the google play because that makes a big difference at least that's been my experience that's been what google has said and that's just you know that just is what it is and it's when you're thinking about when you're looking at your competition you're thinking how can I improve? That's one of the factors to bring into consideration. So let me know. Let me know what you guys do in terms of backlinks. You know, what kind of things do you think about? Is it, do you have a strategy there? Because I think I went on, early on I went on Fiverr and I was trying to get backlinks that way and it just, I didn't really see much of an improvement but then after a while it started getting mentioned in blogs and it started getting mentioned in other places and I really saw things start to pick up after that too and it started to go up in the rankings a little bit more solid. So. Anyway, hopefully, Felix, I know I'm not an expert when it comes to backlinks, but hopefully that's a little bit helpful. It's something to look into. After this, go on to Ahref, have a look, see what kind of backlinks are going into your, your application, and, it, you know, and think about how can you get, get more of them out there. So anyway, that is it for today. I'll talk to you guys again tomorrow.